So this week I'm gonna do a bunch of quick videos on the concept known as triggered eating or sometimes people think of it as emotional eating. And Pamela and I, we wanted to do, situate myself here. We're uh, doing a bunch of information and infographics, infographics and stuff regarding this stuff because I think it'll be helpful and it's something that resonates with people and I think a lot of people have succumbed to triggered eating or emotional eating. I think eating is tied to our emotions, so I've been there, I know what it's like. And so I think defining terms is always a good idea, so I'm gonna do that today. What is emotional or triggered eating? So emotional or triggered eating is eating driven by a need to be comforted, not necessarily out of physiological hunger cues or responses, but because we're needing comfort. And this could be uh, triggered by a, an event or a memory or something that we see or a cue, or somebody says something to us and that triggers something. And um, real quick, I'm gonna talk about how to identify triggered foods or triggered events that may cause us to do the emotional eating or succumb to that. And these are usually, the foods are usually gonna make us feel good. So I say feel good in quotations um, because it's not necessarily because we're, we're just needing to be satiated, meaning we need to be full or feel full. Uh, triggered foods also remind us of a positive experience or a comforting memory or a comforting experience. And one way we know that it's triggered eating is if we never quite feel full, like we never feel as if we can get enough. That's an indicator right there. Uh, so you find yourself continuing to eat, one is never enough, that sort of thing. Um, there can also be a strong emotional response after eating. This is the uh, food hangover feeling that we get sometimes. And it can look like guilt or shame or even uh, avoidance. We could be avoiding uh, the situation at hand. So that's how to identify food triggers and triggered eating and emotional eating and that sort of thing. So I'll give, uh, in the next video, I'll give some examples on how to identify triggered eating and some ways we can combat that. All right, so if you need some more help with this whole concept, let us know and we can at least have an initial conversation about it. All right, bye.